Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard for Games. I'm your host, Tony, and today we are talking about a very rare N64 DD prototype development unit. So not a regular development unit, which is already, it's weird to call it regular because it's already so damn rare, but a prototype version of the dev unit. Super cool. And a uh, big thank you to Andrew, big friend and fan of the show, sent this to us. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. And I definitely could not pass up the opportunity to showcase this to all of you guys. A little bit of background information here. This is your regular retail N64 disk drive. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it was a failed add-on for the N64. It was released only in Japan. Tons of potential, very little execution, and uh, only around like 10 to 20,000 units were sold. That's the number that I generally hear, but that is definitely up for debate. I don't know if anyone really knows for sure. I don't think Nintendo's ever released the, uh, the numbers. So here's my development unit right here. It only plays blue development discs. Anytime that you see blue with the N64DD, you know it's related to development. So let's take a little tour around the outside here. You can see a little bit of a, a blue lip that doesn't exist with the retail version. Little N64 logo on the side here on the left-hand side of the entrance for the disc. Take a look at the top here. Take a look at the bottom. Obviously there's some information and then uh, some instructions regarding how to lock these screws into the base of your N64DD. I should note that the N64 disk drive development units can't boot or load games by themselves. They're essentially missing software. Uh, specifically, you need the IPL software, which is kind of like a firmware almost, uh, that allows it to boot up a game. All of the units are missing this, except for some reason, mine has it. Don't know why. So it's kind of rare for that particular reason, but maybe it was a later model, maybe someone at Nintendo was experimenting, don't really know. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prototype version, and there are a couple of differences here. Looks similar at first glance, but if you notice here, doesn't have the N64 logo. It does have that blue lip around where the disc goes in, but if you take a look at these comparison shots here, and I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up on camera, but the plastic here is really smooth. Whereas the plastic on the lip of the other one almost has a bit of a, uh, like a grain to it. You know, and I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but most DD discs have this sort of a grain and texture to it. But the early discs don't. They're really smooth. They're kind of a similar feel and, and uh, you know, with no grain, no texture. So I, again, I don't know if this is some sort of like a manufacturing coincidence or something like that, where they were using one type of plastic and then eventually moved to a different type of plastic or, or what, I don't know. Just kind of something weird that I observed and I thought I'd, I'd mention it to you all. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the unit. And here is the, the bottom of the unit. The sticker's kind of coming off here, but you can see it's a little bit more bare bones. And there are no instructions around these screws explaining how to properly lock it into the base of your 64. So not too many differences externally, but enough that you can kind of tell that they were working on it. They were kind of getting there with what would become their ultimate version of this particular model. So true to form, this unit is missing the IPL. So we kind of have to add that in via a flash cart. Uh, I use a 64 drive, uh, which is, is pretty good for like game development and debugging. I think you can also use an EverDrive. I've never personally used one, uh, but I, I think you probably can. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and load up one of the IPLs here. Boom. It boots up. Should recognize the disc. And here we go. Super Mario 64 disk drive version. Notice here, it says disk copy two. This is just a little something that Luigi Blood had put in there as a sort of a fail safe. Make sure that should this ever 
go into the wrong hands or something like that, someone won't say, oh, hey, I have a, uh, I have a prototype and try to trick people because everyone can basically see right here. Nope, this is something we made essentially to test. Yep, here's the demo here. Look at that beautiful composite video. Mm. Tasty. Love it. Now there are some differences internally regarding how the hardware was actually set up. Uh, so if you go ahead and take a look at these, these images here, they were actually uh, taken by the individual who sent this to me, but you can see the prototype on the left here. And here you can see that everything is basically attached to the top of the unit. You can just kind of take the bottom part of the shell off and everything is kind of clean. It is not the case with the unit on the right, which is the regular N64 DD dev unit. So the, the regular one has the disc reader sort of attached to the bottom and it connects cables to the top. So well, with the regular DD unit, you kind of have to be careful if you're opening it up uh, regarding those specific cables. Not entirely sure why they opted to have those cables attached to the top. Maybe someone who's more technically inclined might be able to give me some idea in the comments below. Hardware isn't really my thing. Um, it, it seems like because you have to be more careful when separating and sort of opening the unit with the normal version, it seems like they should have stuck with the prototype design. But again, I don't really know if there's an advantage or disadvantage aside from that. So thank you everybody for watching. I certainly appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification button so you know when our videos are coming out. And we will see you all next time. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share. And we will see you guys next time.